working with paint. We were working with paints. So make sure to ask your parents for permission before doing this. Have a nice day. Bye. Got it. 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 Got it.
Okay. Looks like I got it. Let's see what, oh, it's a littler one. It's a little one. This time we'll just leave it without smearing it. There it goes. Oh, look. Oh, look at So now you've got some dotted lines. Let's see what color this little one is. See how small it is? Yeah. And then this one's the size. Okay, let's try this waffle ball. Okay. And the waffle ball won't fit in our paint, so Amy is going to paint that. What color are you going to pick? This red here. Okay, and these are tempera paints that you can get at Walmart. Mm hmm And they are the neon colored ones. I feel like I'm going to get my hands dirty. Well, that's what the paper towels are. Mother's Day is coming up, and so maybe this would be a good project to make a painting for your mom for Mother's Day, do you think? Yeah. She always likes your artwork for a gift. Okay. And spin that around. Whoa, look, it's making little holes. It's like making a little worm shape. Worm shape, worm shape. Oh, and look at how the colors are blending. Orange is blending, or the red is blending with the blue. Look at that. Oops. It's like a dotted line. I got that kind of orange. That's okay. That's a white towel. It bleaches, and all the color will come out. How about trying that golf ball that's so heavy and has little dimples in it? Hmm. Let's see what happens with the heavy golf ball. Okay. See, it's right over here. Real quick, I'm just going to clean this off so I can get it a different color. Yellow. Uh, Yellow might be really pretty because it'll blend with all these other colors. Ooh. It's going to still have a little bit of red. That's okay. Very good. You've got to cover all the surfaces with paint just to make sure. And since it has dimples, ooh, okay, do you want to roll it with the box? You can. Right now my hands are pretty. Yippee, 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 yippee. Here it comes. Oh, look at it. It rolled right along this blue and made a green color. That's pretty cool. Yippee yip yap, yippee yip yap, yippee yip 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 yap. And yippee yap yap. And yippee yappy. Oh, these look good. Do you think this is done or do you think we need some more? I think just a couple more cups. All right. The trick when you're an artist is decide when it's really finished. That's the hard part, so you don't get too much. So you've got blue and this pinkish orange and yellow. How about some green? Because some of these guys are pink. Okay, bright pink is good. Looks like we're needing the tweezers. Here you go. We'll be needing the tweezers. But first we gotta clean them off. Right, we don't want to blend the colors or mix the colors up. Want the colors all really pure. Okay, can you open them? Ready for some pink? Pink ink. Right, little 
with circles. Cool, that's a good addition. you learn how to use these little sponge dots? At a place called As You Wish. It's a really awesome place. You can paint pottery as you wish. And then get it fired in the kiln and then come back and get your artwork. It's there really it awesome there. I think you guys should go. I think that's, I think that looks perfect. Look at all those colors, it's bright and colorful. What do you guys think of this project? Do you think we should do more like this? this maybe you guys should give us some ideas on what we should do next. Have a nice day, bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe so we can get your ideas and see what you think.